Hi students, I am Previn Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are considering the example number 2 for the Boolean function simplification using 4 variable k-map for the SOPs. So my dear students, in the last lecture, we had considered an example for the 4 variable k-map solution. And in the lecture number 71, we had discussed different rules for k-map reduction. Those rules include pair reduction, quad reduction, octet reduction, map ruling reduction, overlapping group and redundant group reduction rules. So many students kindly go through the lecture number 71 for detailed lecturing on reduction rules for K-map solutions. And in this lecture, we are considering our second example. Our question is simplify the Boolean function f of w, x, y, z is equal to sigma 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13 using four variable k-map solution. As we mentioned, our question is function of w, x, y, z equals sigma 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13. So as we all know, the total number of variable in this question is 4. Therefore, we have to use or we have to consider a K-map with 2 raised to 4 cells. That is 2 raised to 4 is equal to 16 cells. Here, we are taking the K-map as described in this figure with 4 rows and 4 columns. The rows represents the variable W and X and the column represents the variables y and z. The values of the rows from top to bottom order is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 0. And the value of the column from left to right is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 0. And each individual cell has a subscript or suffix value which represents the min term positions which should be marked in this K map. So my dear students, as per this question, we have to mark 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 13. So what we have to do is represents the binary number 1 on these given positions. That is, we have to mark 1 on the positions 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 13. And all the remaining positions should be marked with a 0. That is, we have to mark 0 on the cell number 3, 7, 6, 12, 15, and 14. Now, we have to apply the reduction rules for this K-map. Firstly, we are pairing or we are considering a chord ranging with the cells 0, 1, 4, and 5. So, we had paired or we had considered the first chord with cells 0, 1, 4, and 5. Secondly, we can see another chord with cells 1, 5, 13, and 9, which is marked with a blue rectangle. And third case, we can also see another chord which is marked in yellow rectangle with the cells 8, 9, 11, and 10. So here in this K map, we can see three different codes and also we can see the fourth code which is a map rolling reduction rule applied to this particular set that code includes the cells 0 2 8 and 10 so this code lies in the corner of this k map with the cell values 0, 2, 8, and 10. And this is marked with black color chord. So here in this question, we can see four different codes. And in the next step, what we have to do is reduce this code by avoiding the repeating or changing variables and considering only the unchanged variables. So if we are considering the first chord, that is a chord marked in the red color with the cell value 0, 1, 4 and 5. This chord lies in the rows 1 and 2 and in the column 1 and 2. If we are considering the row 1 and row 2, 
the value of w x is 0 0 and 0 1 here in this case the value of x is changing from 0 to 1 and the value of w remains unchanged with 0 that is we have to consider only the unchanged variable w with 0 value that is we have to consider only w dash and if we are considering the column the value of column is 0 0 and 0 1 so the value of the variable z is changing from 0 to 1 and the value of y is unchanged with y is equal to 0 that is we have to consider only y dash thus the reduced form of the first chord is w dash y dash and if we are considering the second chord which is marked in the blue with the cell values 1 5 13 and 9 we can see that the value of w and x are changing from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 0 in each and every row and the value of y z remains unchanged with the values 0 1 that is y is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1 that is the reduced form of the second chord is y dash z since the value of y is equal to 0 and z value is 1 and if we are considering the third chord with the yellow marking we can see that this chord lies in the fourth row and it lies in all these four columns thus the value of the column variable y z is changing from each and every columns and the value of w and x remains one zero in each of these cells thus the reduced form of the fourth chord is w x dash since the value of w equal to 1 and x value is 0 and if we are considering the fourth chord this chord is a special chord with the map rolling reduction method applied to a chord if we are analyzing this chord the row value of this chord is 0 0 and 1 0 that is it has the row values 0 0 and 1 0 the w x values are 0 0 and 1 0 that is the w value is changing from 0 to 1 if we are moving from the first row to the fourth row and the value of the column x is equal to 0 in both these cases thus we are considering the reduced form of x is equal to 0 that is x dash and the column reduction consists of the first column and the fourth column the value of the first column and the fourth column is 0 0 and 1 0 which means that the value of y is changing from 0 to 1 and the value of z remains unchanged with z equal to 0 therefore the reduction of the fourth chord is x dash z dash thus we can conclude that the SOP for this given function is SOP equals w dash y dash plus y dash z plus w x dash plus x dash z dash thus the given function f is equal to sigma 0 1 2 4 5 8 9 10 11 13 can be reduced as w dash y dash plus y dash z plus w x dash plus x dash z dash so my dear students hope you had understood this question so my dear students kindly go through this assignment question the assignment question is simplify the following boolean function using four variable k map the function is f of d e f g is equal to sigma 0 2 5 7 8 10 13 and 15 so many students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss our third example for the boolean function simplification using four variable k map for sops so that lecture will be the final lecture for the four variable kmap solution so my dear students see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best